Seek seven. Polynomial. Long division. Objective. To divide polynomials. All right, we're going to divide polynomials here. Uh, we're going to do some polynomial long division. Um, but, you know, don't get all freaked out, man. It's actually easier than doing long division with integers, uh, believe it or not. Um, but let's go back to how we actually do do polynomials. Do do. <laughs> sorry about that. How we do polynomial long division. I mean, sorry, integer long division. Um, it's just like changing an improper fraction into a mixed number, isn't it? For instance, if I was going to do this here, 273 over 3. Well, I go like this, okay. How many 3 is going to 273? Well, how many 3 is going to 27? Um, 3 times 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract, I end up with a 0. Bring down the 3. How many 3 is going to 3? Up oh, 3. No, I mean, sorry. 1. Oh, man. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract again. What do I end up with? Zero. I have a remainder of zero. So I have no thirds. So th I know that 91 times 3 will equal that 273. What happens if I do a number like 421 over 3? Well, let's see. How many 3s go into 421? Well, how many 3s go into 4? 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract that. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down the 2. Oh, I forgot to put my negative sign through this. Let's see. Subtracting that thing. You know what I'm saying? Subtracting that 3. Bring that 2 and 3 is going to 12. Well, 4. 4 times 3 uh, is 12. Subtract, I get 0. 1. How many 3 is going to 1? Well, none. You can't even fit a whole 3 in there. You get 0. I have 1 as a remainder. 1 what? 1 third. One of those guys. Okay? It's 140 plus 1 third. Right? Does that make sense? So, um, remember too, um, actually, when you're really going 3 goes into 4, you're saying, uh, you're kind of estimating, how many 3's go into 400? Well, th about, th sorry, about 100 of them, right? 100. What's 100 times 3? 300. You're doing 421 minus 300 is 120. Well, how many 3's go into 120? 40. 40 times 3 is 120. So you're really bringing everything down every time, but, you know, the algorithm has been simplified for you, so when you're a little, when you're a little one, you could kind of get through all this. Um, so let's look at a you know, real simple example. Five halves. Well, we know that five halves, right off the bat, is two and a half. But let's see if we did the division. Two goes into five twice. Two times two is four. One left over. One what? One half. Two and one half. Well, we're going to do the exact same thing here with polynomial. But the beauty for polynomial division, we, can co we concentrate only on the leading term. So I'm just going to concentrate on this 4x here. And I'm going to look at this guy. And just like here, I said, how many twos go into five? And it's like two times what I was saying equals five. Well, two times two and a little bit more. Well, that's a polynomial line division. We actually found what, you know, pretty much the exact number that goes into it. I say four X times what equals eight X squared? Well, four X, four times two equals eight. X times X equals X squared. So. 4x times 2x actually equals 8x squared, which is interesting because now I know that really 4x goes into 8x squared 2x times. 2x is the number of times that 4x fits into 8x squared. And now I multiply, just like I multiplied the 2 times the 2 here, I need to multiply this 2x times this whole expression. So 2x times 4x is 8x squared, 2x times 1. Well, that's just 2x, positive 2x. Now up here I subtracted, so here I also have to subtract. 8x squared minus 8x squared is 0. 6x minus a positive 2x is 4x. And notice on our example over here, what happened is we brought this down, this 3, and said how many 3's go into 3? 1. Well, let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to say now, bring down this plus 3. Say how many 4x is going to 4x? 1. 1 times 4x is 4x. 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1. Subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2. I end up with a remainder. Just like here I had a remainder. I had 1 what left over? 1 half. Here I have 2 what's? 2 of these 4x plus 1. So, and 2 over 4x plus 1. Now, if this number happened to be a 1, 
then this number would also be a 1. And notice, 1 minus 1 would leave me a 0. So I could say that 4x goes into this evenly, which is another way of saying that 4x plus 1 is a factor of this. Just like up here, you notice there's two distinct differences. 3 went into this 91 times evenly. Therefore, we can say 3 is a factor of 273. 3 does not go into 421, so 3 is not a factor. One number is a factor of another when it leaves 0 as a remainder. Well, we didn't have a 0 as a remainder here, therefore this isn't a factor of this. So if I factor this out, I'm not going to get that guy. Alright, so let's do another one. Now this is a little tricky here because um, notice the order of these guys. I don't like looking at these guys like this. Um, and um, so I'm going to do, I don't know how many 5x minus 2's go into this. So I'm going to rearrange this as 15x squared plus 34x minus 16. Now I'm going to say how many 5x is going to 15x squared? How about 3x? 3x times 5x is 15x squared. 3x times 2 is negative 6x, right? Subtracting this whole thing. This minus this, 0. 34 minus a negative is like 34 plus, so I end up getting 40x. Bring down the negative 16. How many 5x's go into 40x? Well, how many 5's go into 40? 8, right? And uh, let's see, oh yeah, 8 does. So 8 times 5x is 40x. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. Subtract, 40 minus 40, 0. Negative 16 minus a negative 16 is negative 16 plus 16, 0. Remainder of 0. Good. I did my long division. Notice my remainder was there, 0. Therefore, I can say 5x plus 2 is a factor of this. As a matter of fact, I know that this guy, just like up here, I said, oh, 91 times 3 equals this. You know, if just same thing. I mean, if, if I said, all right, um, how many 7s go into 42? 6. 6 times 7 is 42. Remainder of 0. I know 6 times 7 is 42. I know this times this equals this. So I can rewrite this guy. I factored it, man. 5x plus 2 times 3x plus 8. I just factored this trinomial. Right? Cool. All right. A little bit of vocab for you. Guy on top is the dividend. Guy on the bottom, divisor. I'm dividing by that. I'm divisor. You divide by divisor. Right? So 16 over 5 equals 3 plus 1 fifth. We know that. 5 goes into 16 three times with a fifth left over. This is still the divisor. The denominator is the divisor, right? The dividend is what you initially started with, dividing by. And this number here is called the quotient part, and the remainder goes up here. Another way you can write it is 16 is 3 times 5 plus 1. The dividend always equal, the dividend equals the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. Right? It's just a little bit of vocab there for you. Um, Remember, how do we do it? Seven thirds. It's the same thing as writing it like this. Bottom goes into top. How many threes fit in seven? Two. Two times three, six. I'm subtracting. Seven minus six, one. I have a remainder. Therefore, three is not a factor of seven. But I know if I put one over three, I have two and one third. I also know that two times three plus my remainder one equals seven. Cool. Let's do one more problem here. We have like a minute. All right. My original problem is 2a to the third plus 5 over a minus 3. The division always ends when the remainder is either 0 or of a lesser degree. So if the exponent is lower than which one here? The divisor. I'm dividing by a minus 3. So let's see how many a minus 3 is going to 2a cubed plus 5? 2a cubed. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave some spaces. For any a squareds, any a's, and fives. Because I have, I'm going to need these little spaces later on. So that's a little um, problem solving trick here. So leave spaces for your linear term, I mean your quadratic term, and your linear term if you have a cubic with no, with none of that. Now let's do it. a going to 2a squared, 2a squared times a, 2a cubed, 2a squared times 3, negative 6a squared. This minus that is 6a squared plus 0a. How many a's going to 6a squared? How about 6a times? 6a times a is 6a squared uh, minus 18a. And then I go down. I'm running out of time. I only have 10 seconds left. You can do the same thing over and over again. All right. Have a great day. I hope I helped you out.